Hey there, Andrew and Lynn. Uh, continuing our tour of the near west side and the West Loop and the surrounding neighborhoods. Uh, we're standing in front of uh, the old Cook County Hospital, uh, which uh, was replaced in 2002 um, and turned into a mixed use to, uh, facility in 2018. Just a beautiful building, um, classical kind of a building reminiscent of other county buildings and courthouse buildings as you see around Chicago. Um, and we're in the heart of the Illinois Medical District. We are. It's amazing. It's uh, renowned throughout the um, throughout the country. Um, I think it's on like 530 acres. There's four major hospitals here. Uh, Stroger, the new hospital, and Cook, and Rush, and um, University of Illinois. And um, just handles um, a diverse, diverse uh, population of the Chicago and national area. Yeah, it's uh, the biggest medical district in the in the country, so we read, and um, you know brings in about uh, three million three billion dollars in economic development, and uh, you know interesting place it is. in the West Loop. It is. Yeah, we're uh, on Randolph Street, uh, Restaurant Row, uh, as it's called. Um, you know, it's it's been home to, uh, you know, many, 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 many good restaurants over the years. We're standing in front of uh, Girl and the Goat, uh, Stephanie Izard's uh, flagship restaurant. Uh, she was a top chef winner, uh, you know, a, a Chicago darling. She has uh, several other restaurants in the area now and just opened Girl and the Goat in La Los Angeles. But uh, at any rate, um, you know, this street has been a little bit overshadowed recently by the Fulton Market District, but still home to, to many good restaurants and good bars and uh, a very good scene. Yeah, good scene in Chicago. Yeah. We are in the Fulton Market District, which yeah. um, has been redeveloped over the years from an industrial center right yeah warehouse um you know packing uh, that sort of thing but i mean it's it's proximity to the west loop and the loop just makes it a prime redevelopment opportunity and now it's a thriving sort of mixed use community uh, huge restaurant scene here um you know we're standing with just some next to some high-end shops but you can kind of see the vibe behind us it's just like this warehouse vibe that they you know that the developers have, have taken and ran with um it's also home to uh, chicago's google campus uh mcdonald's moved their headquarters down here um and so there's a lot of uh you know people working in this area um shopping in this area living in this area yeah it really is one of the new uh centers of chicago and it has achieved um landmark status so it's really got a very interesting history and uh typical of chicago uh progression and and development absolutely great example of that and also you know near some some really nice places to live which we'll tell you about shortly we will. we are standing in front of the united center uh which was added on to chicago in the early 90s um, yeah, the house that Jordan built, or so it's called, um, uh, you know, uh, it replaced the old Chicago Stadium, which was a, a, a revered stadium, uh, an icon in Chicago, but uh, United Center obviously was the modern house and, and housed a lot of championships for the Bulls and uh, Blackhawks uh, of recent years, and there's concerts and other political events and other sporting events and, um, you know, a staple for Chicago and Chicagoans. It is. So what's your most memorable event here? Um, well, uh, two, I saw uh, Paige and Plant here um, maybe a couple times when I was a kid. And then you and I came to see Paul, Paul McCartney. We did. Um, walked with a bunch of people uh, <laughs> towards, you know, the loop. And at that time, that was a little harried, but... Um, very memorable yeah. very memorable yeah. experience yeah. and uh you know it's a it's a great venue here in chicago it is it is 